Paley, chef and proprietor at the Bowery Dugout for over 35 years. Welcome to our visual tour. Come on in, Aaron. Welcome to the Bowery Dugout upstairs dining room. One of the most uh, popular spots is the porch, windows facing Ulster Avenue. And then we go into the center section of our dining room, subtle seafood decor, and our back area. We can hold parties of up to 60 people. We can give you semi-private for 20, semi-private for 40. This is the fun part of the tour. This is the history, uh, this is the history lesson of the Bowery Dugout. These caricature paintings have been around in my lifetime and with my predecessor. These three caricature paintings that you're going to see and the fourth one down the stairs used to adorn the dining room upstairs. Since we've remodeled over the years, these have gone into the back and they're just fantastic. The quotes are still relative to today and as you can see the characters are from uh, yesteryear. This is from yesteryear, wrap it as a gift. I think a big shoreline will bring a smile to anybody's face. This one got damaged while we were remodeling, uh, you know, but the deterioration has stopped and no matter what, it's just a fantastic piece of Bowery Dugout history. The Bowery Dugout used to be known for its big open steak sandwich that used to hang off the plate. Even though this depicts a T-bone, this is still just a fantastic character picture and needless to say, who wouldn't like a 24-ounce sirloin? This is our service elevator, a dumb waiter. They really take offense when we call them dumb waiters. But this dumb waiter, it's only for clean and dirty dishes that go up and down the stairs. When we continue the visual tour downstairs, you'll see that the service personnel must carry their dupes down. We do not have a point of sale uh, system. They carry their checks to the kitchen and they must run down for their soups, salads, and entrees. So the elevator, even though it's a very integral part of the Bowery dugout, is really only for dirty dishes going up and clean dishes going down. All the food is hand served and hand delivered. This is one of my most favorite. Uh, John Naraluski, who was the uh, founding father of the Bowery dugout, uh, back in the mid 40s, we peg it around 1947, 1946, used to be an old inn and rooming house. Uh, upstairs on the third floor, there was nine uh, bedrooms and two stall showers, two stall bed, uh, bathrooms, and the upstairs was a restaurant. Then he had the idea to dig it out, so it really has nothing to do with sports. It was just that European translation, if you dig something out, it's dug out, and the Bowery is when he came in off of Ellis Island, he was so enamored with New York. So this is the streetscape scene of, uh, of New York, and first day on the wagon. So. I just think this is just a real caricature. None of them are signed. These caricature artists probably just banged out these paintings in a hurry and uh, just never signed them. It was just one of those particular things. So this one here has uh, been on the wall, needless to say, as long as I've been here and I have been in my, finished my 35th year and started my 36th year. And this is the entranceway to the Bowery dugout. And this is really what made the place take off and what really kind of made it famous. Back in its day, it had sawdust and peanut shells on the store, on the floor. But today's standards with border health and everything else, we went with a clean swept floor. So this is the entranceway to the Bowery dugout and the kitchen, which we will see both of in the next few seconds. This dining room was just chock full of these caricature paintings. I think this one's just amazing. As you look at the uh, captions, they're still so perfect today. And as we go through the downstairs dining room, these are all over the walls, uh, all hand painted, all many, many years old. I had a flood about 15, 18 years ago. I had a great uh, reproduction artist came and helped me uh, replace, uh, repair uh, the paintings. And they've been put back into their original position. We got Durante on the right. And we've got the missing star on the left. So these great, these three uh, great actors, of course, Charlie Chaplin's on the right, Will Rogers is in the center, and Joey Brown on the left. Three great period actors. On this one here, Billy and Red, this is probably one of the most uh, iconic because they named two servers that were uh, in the Bowery for many, many years, very well loved. Billy was a uh, 
a waiter, and Red was just a fantastic bartender, just chock full of uh, personality. And this one was actually cut off the wall, framed, and put back on the wall. We just ran out of a lot of time during the flood. And uh, it's back in the same place, and it's just as fantastic as it was when it was originally on the wall. From here, we're gonna pan right on into the kitchen. And one of the nicest things about the Bowery Dugout is the fact that it does have an open kitchen and you can watch us prepare your dinners. Of course, we had to make some changes and it's a little harder to see us in action now as it was a few years ago. But you can peer in, you can ask what's going on, uh, we're in the middle of the day today. In the middle of the day today, as you can see, we keep a spotless kitchen. Uh, I invite anybody in pretty much any time. Thank you for dining at the Bowery Dugout, and thank you for taking our visual tour. The lobster straight ahead is an actual 22-pounder. It's been in the window for as long as I'm here and prior to me.